Tena Koto and welcome to this run through on how to use the map viewer for Plan Change 78. This viewer has been created so that you can view the spatial layers that are proposed by Plan Change 78. Please note that it is not a copy of the Auckland Unitary Plan and contains only information related to the plan change. You can access the viewer through the Auckland Council website. From the home page, search for Plan Change 78 in the search bar. In the search results, click on the box which says PC78 Intensification. This will take you to the web page for Plan Change 78 where you will find a link to open the viewer. Please note that the viewer should only be viewed on a computer and not on a mobile device as some information is unable to be displayed on the mobile device. The viewer will open in a new web page. Here you will see a pop-up box with terms and conditions. There is important information in the terms and conditions so please take the time to read through them. You can then click on the box to agree to the terms and conditions and press OK. You will now have access to the viewer. Once you open the viewer, you will notice that some areas of the map are whited out. This is because Plan Change 78 is a district plan change that applies to the Auckland's urban environment. Rural land and the future urban zone are not shown. Other places where Plan Change 78 does not apply includes the Hauraki Gulf Islands and special housing areas. The Auckland Light Rail Corridor is also not shown as Auckland Council has deferred its plan change and intends to prepare a variation in 2023. In all these places, the existing planning rules and zones are unaffected by Plan Change 78, and this is indicated by the whiteout in PC78 Map Viewer. In the top left corner of the screen, you will find some navigation tools. Use these to control the information you want to see in the viewer. It is important to note that the viewer is not a copy of the Auckland Unitary Plan. It contains only information relevant to Plan Change 78, such as proposed zoning, and information that affects rules in the Auckland Unitary Plan, such as the qualifying matters layers, height variation control areas, etc. The plus and minus buttons allow you to zoom in and out of the viewer to see the map at different scales. You can also do this by using the scroller on your mouse. For your information, the map scale is shown in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If you are interested in a particular property, Simply type in the address in the search bar. As you are typing, a drop down menu will appear. Click on the address you are interested in viewing from the drop down menu. The map will then automatically zoom to that property. Another way is to simply zoom into the map until the property boundaries become visible and then click on the property. A property summary box will appear which lists the zone, management layers, and any spatially identified qualifying matters that apply to it. Not all qualifying matters can be shown in the viewer. You can find other qualifying matters in the text of Plan Change 78, such as in the residential zone chapters. Of specific note is the classification of character defining buildings or character supporting buildings on properties in the special character area business overlay. This information will be noted in the property summary box, but if a building of both types is located on the property, the summary does not identify which building is classified as defining and which is supporting. More detailed information on this matter can be found in Schedule 15 of the Auckland Unitary Plan. The schedule is being amended by Plan Change 78. Next is the Swipe tool. This allows you to interactively compare the operative Auckland Unitary Plan zones with the zones proposed by Plan Change 78. To use this tool, make sure that both layers are ticked on in the layer list under the Zoning Information layers. Then click on the swipe tool. A slider bar will appear on the screen. Dragging the slider to the right hand side of the screen will show the zones proposed by Plan Change 78. Dragging the slider back to the left hand side of the screen will show the operative Auckland Unitary Plan zones. It is important to also look at the Auckland Unitary Plan maps to understand all of the spatial layer differences between the operative plan and the version that is proposed by Plan Change 78. There are two additional tools to help you use the viewer. If you click on the help tool, it will provide a link to a written guide on how to use the viewer. The print tool allows you to print the map that is showing in the viewer. If you click on the print tool, a pop-up box will appear. The default settings are set at A4 portrait in PDF format. 
The settings can be changed by clicking the drop down arrows and selecting the settings you would like. Once you have selected your settings, simply click print. In addition to the tools on the screen, the following functions are located in the panel on the left. The first of these is the information tab. This explains how the viewer is part of Plan Change 78. Links to the Plan Change 78 user guide and a printable legend are provided. Background information about the Plan Change is also provided here. The Layers tab lists all of the layers that are available for the viewer. When you click on this tab, you will see that the layers are split into two groups. The top group contains the spatially identified qualifying matters such as the special character and historic heritage overlays and infrastructure qualifying matters. It is important to note that not all qualifying matters are spatially identified. Some qualifying matters are in the chapters of PC78, for example, the chapter H8, City Centre Zone. The second group contains the zoning and management layers. This includes the zoning proposed in PC78 as well as information layers such as the rapid transit network stops, walkable catchments, and the operative Auckland Unitary Plan zones. To view the information in the layers, click on the box to the left of the layer name. When the layer is showing on the map, the box will have a tick in it. When it is not shown on the map, the box will be hollow. In the layer list, sometimes an icon might be greyed out. This is simply because the scale of the map is too small for the layer to be visible. If the layer does not show when ticked on or it is greyed out, then you will need to zoom in closer to the map until the layer is visible. In this example, you will see that the Historic Heritage and Auckland War Memorial Museum viewshaft layers become visible as the viewer zooms in. And finally, the Legends tab. This provides a full list of symbols and colours that are currently visible on the map and what they mean. To print the legend, click on the box highlighted in the left panel. This concludes the overview of the map viewer for Plan Change 78. For more information on this plan change, visit the Auckland Council website and search for Plan Change 78 in the search bar, or click on the link shown here.